Hey, this is Justin from Gold Penguin, and this is the sixth video in a multi-part series of creating a website using the Breakdance WordPress Website Builder. Today, we're gonna to be using custom post types to be able to create different types of housing for our real estate website. This tutorial is definitely gonna be a little bit more complicated than anything we've done in the past, but just bear with me. I'm gonna kind of walk step by step of how to do this, and we're gonna keep it pretty basic for today. So first thing, we're gonna need two plugins. So the first one is called CPT UI. This stands for custom post types UI. So go ahead and install this. The second plugin we need is called advanced custom fields. Go ahead and install this plugin. And once we're done, head over to CPT UI, go to add or edit post types, and we're going to add a new type of posts. So for this one, since we're doing a real estate website, we're going to add a house. So let's call this house. Let's call this houses and let's call the singular house. Go ahead and add a post type and you should now see it on the right side of your screen. Uh, that's actually kind of weird that two of them are here. Uh, I'm going to delete one of them and we're still left with one. Okay, so now we have houses and this works just like posts and uh, where's pages, posts and pages, but now we have one called houses. So we could go ahead and add a new house and it's going to look like a normal breakdance WordPress page, but we have nothing to put here. So let's back up, uh, don't go here yet, and head over to custom fields. We're going to add a new custom field and we're going to call this house information let's call it you know whatever we want so if we're selling a house again we're going to keep this very 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 basic we're going to add a text and let's call this the address let's keep this like this so this is saying hey we're looking for a field of an address which is going to be a text uh some text so it could be one two three uh spencer ave whatever we want to call it and so that's going to be the first one so let's close this um what else do we need when we are creating a house so we could do the price so the price is also we could do a number but I, I like to keep text um, but let's just let's keep it text for now we'll call it price price and we could add a default but not going to do that either and then we can go ahead and add an image too so if we can find image so now we have two things of text an image and we're going to call this house or let's call this photo okay and this should be an image just like this and then let's close this too Okay, so now we have an address, we have a price, a photo. Um, let's see if there's anything else that we need for a house. I don't think so. If we really wanted to get detailed, we could go, you know, two bed, uh, whatever. Let, let's actually, we could add one more and we will call this, um, let's call this includes, okay? This will be what the house includes and let's close this. So now that we have all four of these, I'm gonna move this one up so our photo is last. We have our address, what, what it, the house will include, and then the price, and we will add a photo. This is not gonna be put on your page anywhere yet, but I will explain in a second. So go ahead and save the changes here. Now we're gonna head into uh, location rules. So this is saying, hey, where do we need these fields? Where are they gonna come up? And where can I like add, hey, what's my address gonna be? Because we're not setting one address, these are gonna be fields that we set per um, house page, uh, house post type that's over here. So we are going to show this if the post type is equal to house. Just like that so if we are creating a new house if it's equal to that hey we're going to show all of these options and let a user edit it so let's go ahead and let's save this head over into the houses and we're going to add a test house so call this whatever you want uh, i'm going to call this one two three house ave and we're going to do one two three house ave toronto canada uh <laughs> i don't know however however you want to want to do it and then you can do like a postal code, one, two, three, four, five. Again, you can do this however you want. I'm gonna explain things in a second and you'll see exactly how easy this is to move in dynamic data into your WordPress website. So once we have the address in here, let's say it is includes, uh, which includes is again, just, just the tag. We can say two bed, two bath, and then we will set a price to be $199. Uh, let's make this a little bit more realistic and then add a photo. We can use this picture for now. Go ahead, do this and publish this house. So right now this house should not really do much. We can view this post, which is just going to look like this because we have no way of showing, hey, what is the template for this house going to be? So head over back into breakdance and let's create a new template. We're going to basically have a template that catches whenever there's a house made or anyone that's viewing a house, this is how they're going to be displayed on every page. So go ahead and add a template we're gonna add a custom template, continue, and let's call this house or individual house template. 
I'll show you guys how to add um, a, an index page, basically saying, hey, here's all the houses. But for right now, we're just going to show, I'm going to do this on all singles that have houses. And then we're not going to have a condition and go ahead and add this. So if we navigate back to our website, everything should still look normal. Nothing is going to change yet. Um, we don't have anything here set. I did not set the, the page we did in the hero tutorial yet, but go ahead to the individual house template. I can also show you that this house is not going to look anything different. It's going to look like a normal page, but if we're on the individual house template page, now we can edit it in breakdowns and now it works just like a normal page, except there's something super cool that I'm going to show you, which can save you possibly thousands of dollars uh, instead of hiring a website developer to make your website. So go ahead and add a section to the page just like normal. And now we really have to figure out how do we want to design this page? What do we want it to look like? Um, in this tutorial, we don't really need to do anything crazy. I, I might do some tutorials later in the future. I definitely will. But um, we don't really need anything crazy. So we're going to add something that's going to correspond to every single piece of data that we inputted. So we have our image. I'm going to add a heading, which is going to be the address. I'm going to add text, which is going to say two bed, two bath. And then we're going to add some pricing, which is going to go under all of this. So I will be adding some spacing at the top of this. Let's add two rounds of spacing. And yeah, okay, we could do something like this. It's not gonna look the prettiest, but again, I'm trying to teach a little bit of functionality right now. And then I will go into depth in a future tutorial that shows how to make this look really beautiful. But now what we're gonna do is say, okay, we have this house and now we have a picture, but I don't really wanna do this one picture because we already have the house saved. So how do we basically say, hey, we're looking at this house right now. What if we've got one, two, three, we've got eight, seven, six, we've got a bunch of different house, house types that we want to go into this picture. So instead of choosing, you can hover over to this little, uh, I think it's like a server icon or a stack icon. I don't really know what it is, but click on this, it's kind of hidden, and you will see all of these custom fields that are dynamic. This is gonna say, hey, if you have a blog, you know, there's a bunch of options that we could do here, but we're gonna scroll down and we could see ACF, which is the Advanced Custom Fields plugin, and we have house information, and we can go ahead and just like this, add a photo, and boom, here is your house getting displayed beautifully um, we could do this a little differently. What I will do for this tutorial to make it easier is we can add some columns and add a two by two column, open up the section pane. You can see how this works. I'm going to move the image into the first column and I'm going to add everything else into the second. Just like that, going to be pretty simple to see. And now we're just going to repeat this process with the text data that we need on our website. So it is similar. We hover over text, see this little icon, scroll all the way down to ACF. And the first thing we're going to do is the address. One, two, three, house Ave. In the second one, this is going to say includes. Click on this again, go down to ACF, includes. And then our last thing will be our pricing. So change this text, add some pricing. But uh, it's not really formatted wonderfully, but we could say H1 over here. This looks pretty nice. I do want to change the font size to be a bit smaller, maybe like 2. Uh, we could do 2.5. Okay, this looks a little bit better. And then 2 bed, 2 bath. We can also do when we have some custom dynamic fields here. If you click on this little drop down arrow, we can prepend text or append text to the end of it. So if we want to say available, then we could see it has our custom field. Oops, I spelled available wrong. And then it says available. So custom option if you say too bad, too bath available or whatever you want to do, <laughs> go ahead and, and whatever you want to say. But we could keep it at this. And then let's change some font by making this. Actually, I'm going to keep this one the same. And then the, the price is going to be what's going to change. So let's make this font size, let's say 3 rem. Showing that's pretty big, actually. We could do 2 and then we could add some weight to it to make it look a little bit thicker and then save this. So just like that, it is awesome, super easy to do. Now if we refresh 123 house av, we can see our house like this. Um, and now I'm gonna go and duplicate this house just for the sake of this. We can go to houses, let's add 456 house av, and then we could say 456 includes seven bed. 23 baths. Uh, we'll add the same picture for the sake of this tutorial and then publish this page. So no, we did not even have to edit this in breakdance because all we're editing is the template page. We are not editing the actual house page. If we did edit the house page and we did not have a template on, then we would see you know what the house is like. But the whole purpose of this is we are going to be having multiple houses or multiple objects that we're going to be pulling data from. 
And so we just want to have a page. If we view this just like that, we see four, five, six house app. So now we have two houses and now another question to you would be, hey, how do we display this in a list? If we want a page that says all of our houses, how do we get that to be here? So I'm gonna hop into a, another page and we're gonna go ahead and explain how to do that. So the next part of this tutorial will be going into the global blocks in the breakdown settings, add a global block and let's call this house individual. Go ahead and edit it in breakdance. And now we're going to go back to our page, which has the actual elements, and we're going to be copying some things into here. So we could take this image and right click and copy it. Breakdance lets you do this pretty easily. Go ahead and paste that image. Uh, should be working. Oh, yes. The reason it's not working is because we are not previewing one of the house pages. So there you go. We previewed that. Go back. Let's take the address and then paste it at the bottom. And we're going to pretty much do this for every single thing that we have here. We can copy this and then copy the pricing. Pasting it, and it looks pretty much how we did before. So save this, and we're gonna now head into our page and have these all get displayed. So we'll add a new page to our website called All of the Houses. Call it whatever you wanna call it. Go ahead and publish it and edit it with Breakdance. And Breakdance is going to have this beautiful thing called a loop builder or a post loop builder, which now that we have a global block of house individual, we should now see this house get displayed over here. So we're going to go into query, change it to custom, edit query, and default is posts that are selected. So if you have any blogs, this builder is going to say, hey, here's a list of all the blogs that you have, but we don't want this. We're going to click on this and change it to houses figure out all these conditions that you want, order it whichever way you want, and apply query, and just like that, boom, we now have our houses getting displayed all on one page. So you might be like, hey, this is really ugly. No one browses for house listings like this, especially if there's you know uh, a bunch of them. So how do we make this look better? Go into the Styling tab, head into Grid. We will now have this in some kind of grid, and we will have three items per row. And so just like this, ignore these errors, just like this, we now have an easy to view list of all the houses that we have. The reason that it looks a little weird is because when we copied it, we didn't really change these headers to fit for a block like this. So we could go ahead and hit up here, change our tag to H2, change our pricing. Oh, actually these are text, so it doesn't really matter. But we can go ahead and change the typography to be, you know, 1.5 rem and then change our text to be 1.2 rem and change this. I'm going to keep this default. So once this is saved, this will update on the page, but go ahead and save this and let's view it on the front end. And now you will see here are your house listings beautifully displayed. We can have this link to the actual page itself if we did have more information on it. So that's also able to be done in the editor. Open this up click on the post. And just like that, we now have our posts easily beautifully displayed in our builder. We can go ahead and add some different things to it. If you want to add a little background color, uh, however you want to make it, let's make it purple, add some borders to it, and we can add a little shadow if we want some depth to this. And just like that, we now have a beautiful page displaying all of our posts. So this could be used uh, in a variety of other businesses. There's definitely better ways of styling this. I will be making a video on a complex post builder in the future, but this is really just to get the basics down. I hope it makes sense for you all and it's super useful. So thank you for watching this video. In our next video, we're going to be going over WooCommerce, setting up a store to sell products on in Breakdance, in WordPress. Very, very simply, we can do this in under 10 minutes and you can start selling your pictures, your services, your digital downloads, anything you want pretty easily. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and leave a, leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.